Hey folks, Chris Thoreau here from Seedleaf, and today I'm going to walk you through a little bit of a Seedleaf hack so you can export your reports. Uh, this is a good method to use until we get this feature integrated, hopefully by the end of February. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to reports, and I'm going to start analyzing my January data. So we're going to select January 1st to 31st, then generate that report. Now I'm going to start at customers. I'm just going to select all this all the way down to the end of the report here. And I'm going to hit control C. I've got a spreadsheet set up here. See, I've got a couple tabs. I'm going to do my sales report, just pasting it in the upper left. And there all the data is uh, uh, good to go. Now I'm going to make some changes here. Uh, we're going to do a control F. So we're going to find in here and we're going to click here and do a find and replace. So we want to get rid of that CA dollar sign. So we're going to replace with nothing, match case, and replace all. And now that's done. And this is already in the currency. The format here is already in currency, but you can go and select whichever one you want. So now you can take this and do some data analysis with it. So you can do something similar with deliveries as well. Going into deliveries. So we're going to select all this from here down. into our sheet, and there we've exported that. And so this one here, for some reason, doesn't go get aligned well. We're going to copy to there, and then back to there, and that's good to go. Uh, do the same thing here. Going to do a Control F. Going to do a Find and Replace. So we're going to find that, uh, so you can see it again, the CA dollar sign. Replace with nothing, match the case, and replace all. Now, we still want this to show as currency, so we'll just do that like that. So there's two quick and easy ways you can uh, do an export of that data. Uh, we will be doing some uh, feature upgrades soon, so this is something you'll be able to do built into the app. But if you're impatient and want to do some data analysis, this is an easy and effective way to do it. Uh, for those of you that are paid subscribers, I'm already developing an analytics sheet. So if you're interested in that, send me an email at chris at seedleaf.co and I can get you set up there. So give that a try and hope that helps.